What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Little Sauce Accord, the one ever knows best. And in today's Dragon Ball Fighters video, I want to talk to you guys about what I believe are the 10 best special moves in the game. Now, keep something very important in mind. It's what I believe. This is just my own personal opinion based off my own experience and knowledge of the game. But by no means am I the most skilled, the most experienced, or the most knowledgeable. So I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to have lists that differ from mine. The thing about this game right now is that Overall, character power is at an all-time high. So there's a ton of very strong characters with very strong specials, but these are just the ones that after sitting down and thinking about it that I thought were 10 of the strongest ones in the game. But if you have a list of your own, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below, because I'm sure there's going to be moves on this list that I, or there's going to be moves that don't make my list that make yours and vice versa. And also the, the last thing I want to mention before we jump into this is that uh, these are not listed in any particular order. I tried to put them in an order and then I was just like, it doesn't really matter because they're all so strong. Some of them are kind of interchangeable. And while a few of these I think are definitely stronger than some of the others, it's, I didn't really think with listing them in order was that big of a deal. Um, so it is what it is. That being said, I want to get straight into it. And the first move I want to talk to you guys about is Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta's EX Lair. This move actually hasn't changed at all since the character has released, uh, but it doesn't need to because it's been very, very powerful straight from the beginning. So as you guys know, oh, hold on, let me back up, is nearly full screen. We'll say, we'll say about three quarters of the screen, right? nearly full screen uh it's pretty quick it's 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 not like lightning fast there's definitely moves faster than it but what makes this move so special is that for one it is projectile involved it is fully projectile involved meaning this will go through beams and key blasts it is also safe on block so if i just go ahead and make the opponent guard hit, it's only minus four if i remember correct uh and then on hit you get a full combo right but not only do you get full combo you get a medium scaled combo uh, so you're able to pump out a ton of damage. I don't know the optimal. I think you got to do like the record here or something like that. Uh, but yeah, you, you get a ton of even even just the 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 really basic like B and B that I just did does a ton of damage. You know what I'm saying? And even if you want to extend this with like an assist or something, bum 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 bum. You know what I'm saying? Like that's oh, that's 5500 right there for a combo that's very far from optimal, right? Um, so being safe on Bach, uh, projectile invul. Uh, medium skill like I, I just think this is a very 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 powerful move that i'm surprised hasn't been toned down at all there's a couple of characters who had medium skilled lariats uh including lab coats who was projectile or not even projectile but just key blast invul um that lost to medium scaling but for whatever reason gogeta kept his uh but moving on we have the next character on the list i want to talk about in the next special move that's actually team gohan and again we're talking about a lariat now this move actually did change in this version of the game uh, so we all, we all know about Gohan's EX kick, right? It's it's even faster than Gogeta's Lariat. Point blank, it's like 11 or 12 frames. Uh, it's got about the same amount of range, maybe slightly more. We'll say this is like 80, 85% of the screen, right? And then at the distance, the furthest distance it will hit, it's 14 frames, very fast, right? On hit, this gives you full combo, right? And if you just want to super dash, again, I don't know the optimals. You get sliding knockdown by himself without having to knock down into an assist or to advantage into a DR. Uh, you can extend this even further with an assist though if you want to bum 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 let's call cell hey 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 you know what i'm saying just do wh whatever you want to do right but what makes this move even better now is that in this patch it made it so that it does this see that little bounce it's got there and this happens on whiff as well but it's important that this happens on block because well now if you just do this and then call an assist oh mix do it again oh hi you know what i'm saying if, and if, if you're far back enough Oh, same side, you know what I'm saying? It's uh, it's pretty nasty. And, and the thing is, too, is that they also buffed Team Gohan's 2L. Uh, you can see it's actually got a decent amount of range here. Uh, it's now got more range, which makes mixing up with him even easier. So a character that already had high damage and, and, and good mix has even better mix now and better neutral because this is a move that you can throw out a lot more now. Granted, Team Gohan already had pretty good key blast and he's got better buttons now with his 5M and his 2L. Uh, obviously, he's got one of the better auto combos in the game, but um. You know, he's, he's kind of a stubby character, you know what I'm saying? But now this is the type of move where it's just like, oh, just skip neutral, boom. If it hits, cool, full combo, you know what I'm saying? I get sliding knockdown however I want to do it. Again, I don't know the optimals. Or if they block it, then you just you mix them. And to me, that's very, very strong. And that's going to be the trend for a lot of moves in this game. Uh, you're going to see that a lot of them are very, very versatile. Obviously, the Gogeta uh, special isn't super versatile. It really is just like, oh, if this hits, I get a huge amount of damage. It's just more so the properties that it has on it. And I believe this Team Gohan kick is also safe on block, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so it's not your turn anymore for sure, but uh, it is safe. So you're not going to get straight up punished for getting this blocked. Now, this doesn't have key blast invulnerability or like a uh, uh, projectile invulnerability and anything like that. But I still think that this move is very, very strong. But you know what move does? have invulnerability on it now perfect cells ex attack or perfect cells ex perfect attack i should say 
Uh, this move was, again, a move that was already very, very strong is now even stronger. So as you guys already know, this hits grounded, whatever, cool. Um, you get a, uh, you know, you get a combo. I don't know the routes. My God, you're gonna hear me say that a lot. The thing about this is that uh, you can get combo on the ground with an assist and whatnot, but now it's fully invul. And again, it's very, very versatile. This move right here is now not only your your anti-air because it is it's fully invul, but it's it's anti-air, it's full invul, so it's reversal now. Um, but it's also your mix-up tool. You just do, I don't know the block strings, but you get mix off this now. As you guys know, you can float, you can get high low. I think you can get cross up out of it as well. Um, yeah, and then but let's see, let's let's just say that uh that the computer to uh to super dash, you know, you get stuff like this. Also, like TKing, this is very, very strong as well. Uh, because when you TK it, you get the, the aerial version, which means that you actually get the full combo on the ground. So if I just do something like this, hey, hey, uh, what are the routes? I, I don't I don't know the route, but maybe I could just do something like uh 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 hey, hey. Something, 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 something like that, you know what I'm saying? Crazy, crazy damage. This beats Super Dash very easily. Um, it, it, it beats everything. <laughs> it just beats everything. You get a ton of damage. It's a reversal. It's a mix-up tool. It's an anti-air. It's it, it's pretty much a, a great all-in-one package that I think just takes the character up a couple of notches. And, um, you know, I, I see it being very, very useful for sub players in pretty much every scenario. Use it on block. Use it in combos. Use it when they're blocking. Use it when you're in the air. React to a super dash with it. You know what I'm saying? Just, oh, you super dashed at me in the air? Congratulations. You're dead now, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's pretty nuts. <laughs> it's pretty nuts. So, Pete, next move on the list, we have Gotenks EX Beyblade. I think, uh, obviously, all the Beyblades are strong, medium, light, and EX. I, I guess we're focusing a bit more on EX because it has, obviously, it's better and has a few more properties. But uh, Beyblade is another one of those kind of do everything tools. It's, it's not it's not fully invul. It is key blast invul, which is still pretty strong. But it's not like a DP or like fully invulnerable or projectile invul or anything like that. Uh, but it, it's it's your round start option. You know what I'm saying? How many times have you fought a go tank and just round start spin into assist? Now you get full combo. Cool. Uh, but this right here is like it's your neutral. It's your mix. It's your combo. It's it's everything. You can cancel out of it. So you just do this into into this into. Or, or or Beyblade into into Beam, like you, you you can do it all. You can do it all. Okay, and <laughs> I don't know how many of y'all have seen this. Uh, hopefully, a lot of you have seen it. But uh, yeah, I I'm not a I'm not a Go Tanks master, but doing this, controlling it, making it go over them, yeah, and crossing them up, it's it's filthy. All, honestly, all the Go Tanks specials are really good. But uh, just being able to constantly cancel them all into each other, uh, is 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 just ridiculous. It, he builds a ton of bar with it. There's a lot of damage with it. Obviously, he's able to get sliding knockdown because he gets, uh, you know, the, the wall bounce in, into Dragon Rush, uh, and then he sets up his his uh, his Ghost Stoke and everything like that. This move is ridiculous. I, I would show you more in depth, but obviously, I don't play the character, so I'm not uh, the best one to, to demonstrate those things. But uh, yeah, if, if if I'm not being lazy, I'll show you some clips. Matter of fact, uh, I know Inzim and did Nitro. I think Inzim and Nitro both played. Go tanks at uh, at Evo. So if, if I'm if I'm not lazy, I'll include some footage of them playing the character and showing you how how crazy this move is. But you can you can take my word for it or not. I don't, I don't think it needs to be talked about too much. I think most of us are aware of how strong uh, this move is. But uh, yeah, next up, I think I want to talk about hit. And for hit, we it's it's the stance. Uh, Ex stance definitely one of the best specials in the game as far as I'm concerned. I do feel like hit as a character might be just a tiny tiny bit overrated by the people who don't play him at times. Maybe I'm biased because I think the character is really sick. But I do think he's very strong. I don't think he was strong enough to warrant the 25% meter gain nerf that he got. But that's neither here nor there. Um, but Ex kick is ridiculously powerful. I mean, out of uh, what well, Ex stance, but yeah, one of the reasons being Ex kick. Obviously, this is fully invul. Uh, using this as a reversal is powerful in pretty much every scenario. Hit one of the best scramble characters in the game. Um, but yeah, you get access to uh, Tides of Time. You get access to that move, which is sliding lock on. EX Kick gives you a full combo on hit. Uh, I mistimed that, but it is what it is. This this beats everything. DPs, normal supers. It loses throw, but like other than that, if I set the computer to just, uh, I don't know, just do a level three or something just for demonstration purposes. Into EX Stance. Oh, that's cute. Let me just kick you in the pants real quick. A, A, A. But uh, yeah, I, I, I think it goes without saying this is one of the best moves. Maybe you disagree. It's funny I'm saying like, oh, I think hits a little bit overrated, but he does have one of the best moves in the entire game. Well, then doesn't that make him top tier? Okay, like, you know what I'm saying? It, it is what it is. You, you asking a lot of questions, all right? Semantics, details, details, details. The point is, I do think that the move is very, very powerful. You can cancel all his stances, or not all his stances, but you can cancel his stance into like all his other specials, um, if I could do it properly. You know what I'm saying? Uh, including like even the, the back dash. If I, what is it? Two, one, four. Yeah, there you go. That move right there. 
yeah, it can be, it can be kind of silly. It can be kind of silly. Stance into EX kick is just nuts. No matter what stance you do it from. <laughs> Damn it, you can just say that EX kick itself is one of the best moves. We're gonna say stance because if you if you say stance, you get EX kick on top of everything else. Like I said, any move that operates both as a reversal and as a neutral or combo or mix-up tool or any, or any combination of that is gonna be considered very strong in my opinion. And with, with hit, you're getting all of that. And then moving on. Another character whose special move basically does everything for him. So, uh, Android 17. I think we all know the move I'm going to talk about, but it's his Rekkas. Uh, again, just, just a do everything tool. Um, it's an anti air, like this beats super dash, it beats jump ins. Uh, <laughs> use it in neutral, use it for mix ups, use it for combos, use it for basically uh, everything with this character. This is a move that has been good since uh, the character released, in my opinion. It has gotten better and better over time. He's got a fast fall out of it, uh, he's got an overhead. There's the overhead. He's got a low. Uh, he can use it in the air now, which also gives him sliding knockdown. Uh, if, I, if I can just not drop the combo, that'd be great. Um, yeah, with the EX version, you get sliding knockdown, or if you want, you continue the combo uh, from the air. Uh, I, I forgot the 17 zone was actually kind of weird, so I gotta. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, you could just. It's 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 pretty nuts though. It's pretty nuts though. Also. The thing that makes it particularly strong in this patch, which makes it even stronger in this patch, is that before you guys know that one of the tools he has access to out of his uh, uh, his Rekkas is Barrier, which is very strong in and of itself. Uh, this Barrier will activate on its own if you do a normal or an assist into it. He shoots out the Key Blast, which he gets full combo from. Um, but she, he can also do the Key Blast manually, which is a bit of a commitment. However, and also costs half a bar. In this patch, uh, they made it so that he can cancel out of it. So ordinarily, if you do this and commit to it, it is minus 29. Uh, congratulations, buddy. You just got yourself killed. Now, obviously, this is DBFZ, so there's a million ways to get around this, whatever it's an assist, spark, wh whatever the case may be, advantage. You know what I'm saying? However, however, it doesn't even matter now because now you can just straight up cancel this into more Rekka stuff. It's 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 insane. <laughs> it's insane. I don't think this move need to be any better than it already was because it already does everything. It already does everything. It already does everything. Like this is this this character is already crazy, and they made him even better. Uh, Why did they make him even better? Because uh, he needed it. <laughs> he needed it, obviously. <laughs> obviously, he needed it. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, again, just any tool that has like a reversal as well as your mix up, your neutral, your comp, like it just it does everything in one. It, it does everything in one. And so for me, I just feel like it, it, it's got to be up there on the list as one of the best specials in the entire game. Now this next move just makes this character even sillier than he already is. But we're talking about Blue Vegeta and the move at first, at first I thought about saying it was Big Bang Attack. However, in this version of the game, they gave him two silly buffs. One of which being a buff to his EX kick, which is now a full screen move, right? Which leads into his Rekkas, which also goes into a cross up, which also gets him mixed with an assist, whether you want to go into high, low, cross, whatever, right? However, I debated about what's sillier between the EX kick buff or his big bang attack or the other buff they gave him this patch, which was to his command grab. So ordinarily, right? He has this command grab, which can be used you know, as, as a tool to catch somebody off guard. You know, you grab them, whatever. If you sliding knockdown, if you use the medium or the EX version, you know, you get combo, bop, 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 whatever. Vegeta's command grab is now not only key blast in vol, it is fully in vol, meaning that you cannot get hit out of this by even a 2H. So if I set the computer to counterattack here with a 2H, let me even set them to block, okay? Because like, oh, at the start of he, he got hit, so let me just. Is this not ridiculous to anyone? Like, is this not insane? Is this not now? There's like no risk. There's no risk to doing this. Like in the corner, it's like, yeah, okay, you crouch it, it whiffed, whatever, whatever. <laughs> it does not matter anymore. And now, obviously, you still get. Uh, you get full combo off this as well. Uh, something like this. Bum, bum. Uh, 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 uh. Into, you know, Dragon Rush sliding knockdown into EX Cyberman plant, which leads us into the next move I want to talk about. This move, I don't have a whole lot to say. It's just, again, the com it's a command grab for one. It can be crouched, but gives you full combo on hit. It's fully in vol. You get pretty good damage into into Rekkas, into, you know, Dragon Rush, Slight Knockdown, so on and so forth. And then you bring a Nappa Free EX Cyberman Plant, which is, again, one of the best moves uh, in the entire game. Um, I already thought EX Cybermen or Cybermen were already very, very strong, but uh, I can show you better than I can tell you, except I can't show you. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just throw a clip up here, okay? 
I, I don't play Nappa, so I'm not the best person to demonstrate this, but I, I need you guys to see the ridiculousness of what Cyberman does. We all know about like a, a Nappa doing a Cyberman plant or whatever. Cool, right? Into like, oh, like I, it, I'm i taking my turn back, but the Cyberman got me. He's getting all these restands and mix ups and so on and so forth. Like it's not a reversal, sure. I don't know if I'm counting this as like one of the higher end or the lower end of this list. Like I said, these moves aren't listed in any particular order, but to me, Cyberman plant got, it's, it's OD. It's, it's very OD. So I'm gonna roll the clip and y'all can see for yourself what I'm talking about. Like, come on, son. I, I have been of the belief and of the opinion for a while now that Nappa is a very, very strong character. And be like, oh, he's neutral sucks. All y'all do is slam 5H anyway, and it'd be working. So who cares? Who cares? Also, let me turn this counter attack uh, 2H off. But uh, yeah, no, again, it, it, this could be higher on the list. I know it's not like the, the, uh, nearly as versatile as some of the other uh, moves are that are on this list. Uh, but just the utility of the Cyberman, I just feel like is it's so potent. It, it's just so strong that I felt inclined to include it uh, on my list, uh, but that's just that, that, that's just me. I I, I think EX Cyberman is absolutely ridiculous. And uh, again, the ability to restand, which is the only other character I think who has restands, as far as we're aware, uh, is Majin Buu. And then uh, just just the resets, the, the mix-ups, and then like the way Cyberman can save Nappa when you think you're getting your turn back, except not really. It is it is it is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. And just the fact that he gets all of this now off of it, like just let's just let this whole animation rock. And that all combos. It's 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 insane to me personally, to me personally. Um, and there's one more movie we're gonna talk about. Actually, there's two more, but the last one out of these three that, that I think is really insane. And it's actually from a character who is really under underplayed, underexplored, and underrated in my opinion. Now, granted, I don't like him, but I do think he's strong. Um, and that is Master Roshi with this move right here, EX Split. Uh, his 2-2-H, I think, is criminally underrated as one of the best moves in the game. Let me list off a couple of properties about this move, right? Uh, it is a low crush. It goes over low. So, for example, if I just set the uh, Jito to do his 2-L now, which is actually a low in this version of the game. Oh, hold on, maybe, maybe not so fast. Yeah, you can actually do this pretty late as well. Matter of fact, let me set him to, to guard first uh, so you can get a better idea. It is a reversal. It is low crush. It is DR crush. It is safe on block. If I turn off the, the counter attack settings, it is minus five. So it's low crush, DR crush, uh, safe on block. It is a reversal. It's an anti air. Uh, it is also medium scaled on hit. Uh, you explode off of this if you get hit. Now, I don't play Roshi, so I don't know the combos, but you can get you can get the basic B and B here. Um, I, I, I forget the route exactly. Well, not that I ever knew the route, but this is just basic B and B. Oh, matter of fact, I know what you're supposed to do. Thundershock surprise. If you do 2M, 5M, 2H into a Thundershock surprise, I'm pretty sure the damage is ridiculous. Oh, wrong, wrong way. Is ridiculous. Yeah, into that, and then you can do like dash up 2M. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Into this, and I think dash up 2M. Yeah, like that, that again, I'm sure that's not even the optimal. <laughs> I'm sure that's not even the optimal, but that is an insane amount of damage. That's over 6K and uh, I, I don't play Roshi at all. I don't know Roshi combos. I just like, I just kind of vaguely remember it. I don't know if I saw Faulty or someone do something like that before. And you can also do something like, uh, is it, what, what's this other special? Is it, uh, is it this? Yeah, this move. I don't know if you have to do the medium or what, because he still retains a smash after this as well. Like if, if in case you didn't know, like you still get the smash after that. So you can still do some pretty crazy stuff um, and get some ridiculous damage. It's 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 insane. It's insane. So anti-air, throw crush, DR crush, uh, low crush, medium scale combo, uh, in, in vol, uh, retain your smash, sliding knockdown, ridiculous damage. This move has to be one of the most underrated or underexplored moves in the game. Maybe not the move itself. Well, I guess it is, but the, the character's underexplored. So I just don't hear a lot of people talk about it. But this move's kind of nuts. Now, the only thing is like, obviously you just go straight up. It doesn't have like crazy range. It's not skip neutral. It's not like a, has a super huge hitbox. You saw even just barely out of range. Like I, I'm whiffing here, right? 
But in the scenarios where this does hit, it's 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 very powerful. A A A into that. I dropped it. But yeah, you, you get the idea. You get the idea. Um, I think this move is ridiculous. <laughs> I think the move is ridiculous, but that's just me. Mm, mm, mm. Um, only thing is, I guess, is that since it uses your sliding knockdown, you'd have to knock down into an assist, which he can easily do now because uh, they gave him this, his uh, the J2L. Uh, so you can easily do that into an assist into Dragon Rush for sliding knockdown, or you can just go into, you know, uh, vanish into DR, whatever the case may be. But yeah, I, I think it's very, very strong. And now we have the final character uh, on this list. Um, and that character is actually GT Goku. What they did to GT Goku kind of blows my mind. So let's, let's, let's go ahead and talk about it. So for whatever reason, somebody decided that GT Goku needed invincibility on his reverse Kamehameha. And from what I understand, this move alone uh, has convinced Cloud805 that GT Goku is now the best character in the game. And boy, let me tell you, if anyone's playing Dragon Ball Fighters, it is certainly a uh, GT Goku because you can just be as chaotic and random as wild as you want with this because it's it's fully invul. Like you can't be 2H out of this. So if I set the computer to just guard real quick, counterattack settings to 2H, um, and then we just reset to neutral right here and I just, yep, invincible, just, yeah. Yeah, so just literally just throw this out, just bounce all over the place. Oh, and then by the way, if it hits, uh, if it does actually hit, you just, uh, oh, I get a beam into a super dash now. So, you know, and then you get full combo, so on and so forth. So yeah, this move is pretty, pretty dumb. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if people start picking up GT Goku and just wilding out. Uh, there was one play, I don't remember if it was like in Wanted or in like one of the other weeklies. I don't know if it, it might've been like, there was definitely a GT Goku player who I saw before who definitely just threw this move out like crazy. And uh, well, now they have every reason in the world to do so because it's one of the best moves in the entire game, at least in my opinion. And also, actually, uh, I was actually in Cloud's stream um, the other day and I saw him because I, I mentioned him because I, I, told, I told him I wanted to get him on, on the channel for a video. And we we're talking a bit about this move and this character. And he showed me this match between Wawa and Gropus, which I will show you guys on screen right now and show you just, just how stupid this actually is um, because it's it, it's pretty nuts. So I don't know if this magically makes GT Goku like top tier or anything like that, but this move has to be considered, in my opinion, one of the best in the game now for sure, uh, for sure. It's just, it's just, it's just way too silly. It's just way too silly. Um, but yeah, with that, that is 10 characters and 10 special moves that I feel like are the best in the game. Uh, we could have also talked about any of lab coats, so like the stomp or either her spins, although I think after they nerfed to her 236 spin, that was significantly worse now. I mean, it's still very good, obviously, uh, but I just felt like I wanted to highlight these more. Um, you could talk about adult Gohan and like his DP or the legs or whatever when he's in level seven, although that felt like kind of cheating because like, oh, but it's only when he's in level seven that it's as strong, whatever, because like it basically has no risk. But yeah, there's a couple other lariats and specials and whatnot that exist in this game that I could have definitely talked about. But uh, these are the 10 moves that right now, if you were to ask me gun to the back of my head, I think these are the best ones in the game. But again, it's, it's not like I'm cemented in this opinion. I, I could definitely be convinced that some of these aren't as strong as I think they are, that some others are even stronger than I thought they were. So again, I, I highly recommend and encourage you guys to discuss it in the comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking and how you're feeling. Hit this video with a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already so you can stay tuned for all this content up and I'm bringing you. And with all the being said, this is pretty much off today. And remember, nothing can happen to you. It's from the bat. Later.